I've always been making things. Growing up, I was really inspired by my father in terms of thinking outside of the box, making things, building things. I really enjoy the absurd, the bizarre. I find a lot of these bizarre moments in my life and in the way that I interact with the world, and that really becomes a huge part of how I build things and how I make things and what I choose to make. Being at the goat farm has definitely changed my aesthetics and the work that I do. This property originally became a munitions plant, and now it's more of like a for-profit artist studio that's also a really fantastic community center and way for artists to kind of network. Visiting other artists and seeing what they're getting their hands on really inspires me. When this ear project for Dolby came about, we kind of discussed what would be best for this installation. From what I understand, there are people at Dolby that have superior hearing. It's part of their job description. So this is a sort of like pop art homage to these people. When I first discovered that you could make a mold of something and then make a whole shit ton of them, I was pretty stoked at that prospect, especially being somebody that sometimes sculpts things and spends so much time on a pattern. It's been an incredibly entertaining process with a lot of trial and error. I've never done this many castings that need to be so perfect at once. Initially, there were so many different things that I had to really experiment with to make it work. These bright, more vibrant colors have kind of been creeping in to my work. I'm very attracted to that vibrancy and that intensity. And I feel like when you're around those colors, it's almost like you're on fire. I have somewhat of a meticulous analytical personality. I like to break things down into a process. Some of the technical problem solving I've had to do has really involved a lot of science. It's things like considering volumes, viscosity of material. These ears are so seemingly simple, but the forms themselves are terribly complex. The way that that liquid travels into that mold, the whole process of trying to degas this material, pull all of the air out of this plastic that you just whipped up. So it's been a lot of fun problem solving and troubleshooting. When you come out of it and you're successful, it's like the best feeling in the world. I feel like I am really a process artist in some respects. I think it's that physicality, moving around that object and being able to shape that object into something new. Variety inspires me, new materials inspire me. With each project, it's been a completely different set of problems. I'm never bored. When everybody comes into the new building when it's open and they walk by that crazy huge ear wall, I want them to kind of get like a little, hopefully a, a burst of, of energy or excitement. And I feel like transitioning, going from this vibrant pink down to the cyan blue, it's kind of like this weird calming effect. It's energetic, but it's also something that's kind of bringing you to a happy place. After making over 600 ears, I find myself wanting to touch other people's ears. I find myself having a difficult time not touching other people's ears. So yeah, I've been looking at people's ears in a very weird way lately. 